I'm a single parent. And you know, single parents, you know, sometimes, you know, the budget get cut. Serena Elliott and her 13-year-old son, Kingston Elliott from bed say they get help, hope, and healing here at the floating hospital. Do so much more to help the, the unfortunate ones. This afternoon, it's a free checkup for Kingston. I just hope more people, like, realize how good the floating hospital is. It's a comfortable space for them, and they won't just see it as, like, a doctor's office. They're just one of thousands of families the floating hospital helps every day. Dr. Megan Miller helps lead a team of 10 who are on the front lines of New York City's homelessness crisis. Large population of kids that come here without shoes. Especially yeah. with like the winter coming up. They rely on donors and volunteers to provide more than health care, but food, clothing, diapers, formula, and even summer camp. So we're going to get around a thousand pairs of these shoes generously donated to us from Souls for Souls, a nonprofit that gives shoes to kids experiencing homelessness and we're also going to get a thousand socks. They now need some helping hands. We need about 10 to 15 people to come and help us at the floating hospital this Friday when we get our thousand shoe shipment. We need just people to organize and um, sort these shoes. No heavy lifting or anything like that. And just a few hours, probably between 12 and three o'clock. It's not just for Friday. They need help next week too. They're looking for volunteers to help with filling backpacks for a sleepaway summer camp. We're expecting about 80 to 100 campers. 16 year old Didi Agondo from the Bronx is one of the campers. I can't wait to go because like, I've never been to camp before. Back to Kingston, who says because of his experience here, he wants to be a therapist one day. So I want other kids to like be like comfortable and be able to express themselves. We'll be back.